Since introducing the App Store in 2008, Apple has run it largely the same way across 175 countries and has joyfully collected a 30% commission on every app sold. The company calls the result an economic miracle. The store has generated more than $1 trillion in sales, helped create more than 7 million jobs and delivered Apple billions of dollars in annual profits. But as the App Store approaches its 16th anniversary, a patchwork of local rules are challenging Apple's authority over it. European Union regulators have begun enforcing the Digital Markets Act, a 2022 law that requires Apple to open iPhones in the block to competing app marketplaces and alternative payment systems for in-app sales. The changes follow similar demands in South Korea and the United States, where Apple has been forced to allow alternative payment processes. Similar concessions are being discussed in Britain, Japan and Australia. The rules are fracturing what was once a single store into a jumble of digital shops across national borders. The once uniform experience of shopping for software on an iPhone now differs depending on where people leave. Apple has worked hard to adapt to the shifting regulatory landscape. An Apple spokesman said the company had spent months talking with the European Commission about the Digital Markets Act and hosted meetings with developers as it developed plans to change the App Store while minimizing the risks of malware, fraud and scams on iPhones. Apple says its control over the App Store is critical to the safety and quality of the apps it distributes. The company has stopped short of abandoning the 30% commission. But over time, it has made some concessions to developers and regulators by reducing the commissions that smaller app makers pay and allowing developers to link out to their websites to charge users directly for subscriptions. The changes are expected to pinch Apple's sales and cut into profits. Last year, the App Store generated an estimated $24 billion in revenue. When the App Store first appeared, Steve Jobs, Apple's co-founder, said the fee was a great deal because it allowed every developer, big or small, to deliver software to every single iPhone. But for years, Apple's fees have been a point of frustration for developers and over time, regulators began to listen to those complaints. In 2019, Spotify filed a complaint against Apple in Europe, accusing it of anti-competitive practices because it prevented streaming music services from advertising where and how users could subscribe to their app. A year later, Epic Games, the maker of Fortnite, filed a lawsuit in US federal court accusing Apple of violating antitrust laws by forcing developers to use its payment system. The complaints galvanized developers around the world to begin lobbying for changes to the app economy. In 2021, the South Korean lawmakers were among the first to respond by passing legislation to force app store operators to allow alternative payment systems. Apple relaxed its requirement that developers use its in-app payment service but said developers who used alternative services would owe Apple a 26% commission on sales. Developers have argued that the new commission rate is the same as the 30% rate after credit card processing fees are added.